Hello, in this problem we're asked to find the value of 2 to the 18 minus 1 without the use of a calculator. Okay, um, we can approach this in a number of ways. One way to change this would be using this x to the m times n is equal to x to the m n. These two are equivalent. So this can be rewritten as 2 to the 9 all squared. Just multiply this across and get back this. So we can actually just uh, multiply this out. Well, 2 to the 9 is a lot easier than 2 to the 18th. Um, so 2 times 2 is 4 times 8 times 2 is 16 times another 2 is 32 times another 2 64 then 128 then 256 then 512 so 2 to the 9 is equal to 512 the squared now we can just square this um, 512 times 512 2 times 2 is 4, times 1 is 2, times 2 is 10, 1, times 2 is 2, 1, 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 1 is 5, times plus 1 is 6, there's 25 over here, this comes out to be 4, 4, 1, 12, 6, 2. So this 2, 6, 2, 1, 4, 4, minus 1 is equal to 2, 6, 2, 1, 1, 4, 3. We can do it that way. Or, what a lot of people have been doing is 1 squared. The difference of squares over here, which is a squared minus b squared, is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So, this here can be rewritten as 2 to the 9, you have a is equal to 2 to the 9, and b is equal to 1. So 2 to the 9 plus 1 times 2 to the 9 minus 1. So here I have a difference of squares, and the difference of squares a plus b times a minus b. So this is a plus b times a minus b. And this, we already figured out, is 512, so we have 5, 1, 2, plus 1, times 5, 1, 2, minus 1, and this is 5, 13, times 5, 11. And then you can multiply these out, 5, 1, 1 times 5, 1, 3, and you get 3, 1, 5, 3, 1, 5, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times uh, 1 is 5, 6, 5 times 5 is 25, so it comes out to 3, 4, 10, 11, 12, 2, 62, 1, 4, 3, 2, 62, 1, 4, 3. So either way, you can use the difference of squares, or you can just, at this point over here, just multiply it out and get it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.